Melbourne Victory Football Club is an Australian professional soccer club based in Melbourne, Victoria. It competes in the country's premier competition, the A-League, under licence from Football Federation Australia. Victory entered the competition in the inaugural season as the only Victorian-based club in the newly revamped domestic Australian League. The club has won three A-League championships, three A-League premierships, one pre-season Challenge Cup and one FFA Cup, the only club to have won all four Australian football trophies. They have also competed in the AFC Champions League on four occasions. The club plays matches at both multi-use venues, Melbourne Rectangular Stadium and Docklands Stadium, with seated capacities of 30,050 and 56,347 respectively. A youth team competes in the National Youth League. A women's team competes in the W League. The youth and women matches are played at various locations across Melbourne, including Lakeside Stadium, Kingston Heath Soccer Complex as well as Melbourne Rectangular Stadium. History DNQ denotes that the club did not qualify for the particular fixture, not held denotes that the event did not take place, TBD denotes that the final outcome has not occurred. Colours and Badge Melbourne Victory's club colours are navy blue, silver and white, which encompass the traditional state sporting colours of Victoria. In the Victory's inaugural A-League season, only the club badge displayed a chevron, known colloquially as the Big V, a symbol traditionally used by the Victoria Australian Rules football team. From the 2006-07 season the away strip was changed to a grey jersey with a white chevron on the front. This was an immediate hit with the club's supporters, and from the 2007-08 season onwards Melbourne's home jersey also sported the white chevron on the front. A new kit was introduced for the 2008 AFC Champions League due to AFC rules requiring kits to have player numbers on the front of the uniform as well as the back, which would not fit well with the V on the victory's regular kit. For the 2009-10 season, Melbourne changed their away jersey to be a reverse of their home jersey. A white shirt with a blue chevron. In 2010, Melbourne wore the TAC seatbelt shirt against Perth Glory in a charity event to raise awareness for the necessary use of seat belts in cars. On June 16, 2011, the current kits were announced via the club's YouTube channel, which features a change to a fluoro yellow away jersey. Adidas were announced as the club's official kit manufacturer for five years. For their 2013 a Euro 14 kits, Melbourne Victory received backlash from supporters following the releasing of the kits, as the away kits had a large resemblance to rivals Sydney FC. Octi the front sponsor for the 2014-15 season. Club songs, Stand By Me by Ben E. King has played prior to kickoff, when the Victory walk onto the field. Victory the Brave, a rearrangement for the Club of Scotland the Brave by Jim Keowes of the Masters Apprentices, is played after every home win. Stadium Melbourne were originally based at the 50-year-old Olympic Park Stadium, where they played all home matches during the 2005 Euro 06 A League season. This stadium had seated areas only on the wings, with standing room sandy terraces on the north and south ends. The average crowd during the first year was 14,158. On September 2, 2006, Melbourne Victory played Sydney FC at the 56,000 capacity Docklands Stadium. The match was a runaway success in terms of crowds, with 39,730 in attendance. As a result, the club moved all but one of their home games to the ground. This move to such a large stadium was viewed with skepticism by many but proved to be an outstanding success, with the grand final held there. The average attendance rose to 27,728 for the 2006 Euro 07 season, 10,000 above the next highest in the A-League. Prior to the 2006 Euro 07 season the club had planned to move to a new $190 million stadium being built to the east of the current Olympic Park complex. The new stadium was originally expected to sit approximately 20,000 spectators and was to be completed by 2009. These plans were revised after the victory refused to commit to playing at such a small capacity stadium. On May 23, 2007, 
the club announced it had signed as a founding co-tenant of the new stadium, which would now be built to accommodate a maximum of 30,050 spectators with further renovations to 50,000 possible. However, further expansion in the near term is unlikely as it was discovered during Australia's World Cup bid process that to build such an expansion would be prohibitively expensive. Docklands Stadium continued to serve as the club's only home ground until the completion of AAMI Park. The club split its home games between the new stadium and Etihad Stadium from the 2010 Euro 11 A League campaign onwards. The games of less importance or potential drawing power at the new stadium and the blockbusters and finals matches at Etihad Stadium. On February 15, 2014, Melbourne Victory played their Asian Champions League qualifying game against Myungthong United at Cardinia Park in Geelong due to AAMI Park and Etihad Stadium being unavailable. Support Melbourne Victory has the largest supporter base in Australia and has consistently set record highs in membership and attendance. In January 2011, the Horde Group was suspected to have stolen a banner from Melbourne Hearts Yarraside Active Group. In the following games, Horde banners were banned, which led to great protest from the Northern Terrace active members. At the following games, there was an increase in police and security present at the active area. Fans that were perceived as being too aggressive were escorted from the terrace, and in some cases fined or banned from the terrace. This led to the fans' anger escalating as they protested against the police control. On February 2, 2011, the fans from the North Terrace organised a silent protest for the Melbourne Victory a Euro Newcastle Jets match. They left the North Terrace empty, and had a banner saying no fans no past no future a Euro without us you are nothing, NT United. The banner was later confiscated by the police. In February 2011, Victoria Police said they were reluctant to cover Melbourne Victory games because of behaviour by fans that they claimed was unacceptable. Problems included violence, antisocial behavior, and a lighting of flares. On January 3, 2014, the Football Federation of Australia charged both Melbourne Victory and Western Sydney Wanderers with bringing the game into disrepute following violent fan behavior before and during their game on December 28, 2013. Rivalries Rivalry exists with Sydney FC, Melbourne City, and Adelaide United as well as a budding rivalry with the Western Sydney Wanderers. Victory have recorded big wins against Adelaide, Sydney and the Wanderers. Melbourne City Melbourne City a Euro Melbourne Victory's local rival is Melbourne City, which entered the competition in the 2009 season, becoming the second club in Melbourne. The rivalry reached a whole new level when victory skipper Kevin Muscat was red-carded for an unacceptable tackle on heart player Adrian Zora. Currently four former Victory players are at Melbourne City, with May Duganda three-quarters year doing the first ever direct switch from Victory to City in 2011. Currently no players have gone the other way, Sydney FC. Sydney FC a Euro. Sydney is considered Melbourne's major interstate rival, due to Melbourne and Sydney being Australia's two largest cities. Matches between the two teams are regularly controversial and bitter encounters. Strong tensions are also emerging between the supporters from opposing teams, evident in the sellout crowds. The rivalry between the two teams was escalated further after Sydney beat Melbourne in the final match of the 2009 Euro 10 season to win the A-League Premiership, and again beat Melbourne in the 2010 A-League Grand Final. However, in season 2014-15, victory reversed these feats, by first pipping Sydney to the A-League Premiership, in the normal home and away season and weeks later comprehensively beat them 3-0 in the 2015 A-League Grand Final. Victory now have won three A-League Grand Finals to Sydney's two. Adelaide United Adelaide United a Euro Melbourne Victory also has a rivalry with Adelaide United. This rivalry stems from the other football codes, where the interstate rivalry is big between Victorians and South Australians. There has also been altercations between sets of opposing fans in Melbourne and Adelaide. The rivalry has built up from previous encounters, when an incident between the then Adelaide United manager, John Cosmina, and victory skipper Kevin Muscat took place during a sideline altercation during a match in the 2006 Euro 07 season, 
and when victory striker Nay Fabiano allegedly spat in the direction of Adelaide defender Robert Cornthwaite during round four in the 2008 Euro 09 season he was banned for nine matches. However, this was reduced to six after a successful appeal. Victory and Adelaide contested both the 2006 Euro 07 and 2008 Euro 09 Grand Finals, with Melbourne winning both. Players equals First team squad equals, as of September 7, 2015. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. The youth status denotes that the youth squad player does not have a full senior contract, but has made official appearances during the 2015 Euro 16 season. Equals youth squad equals. Corporate. As of 2015, the largest of around 50 shareholders of Melbourne Victory Limited, an unlisted public company, is Mario Bazin, owner of construction company Metricon, followed by others including current Victory chairman Anthony Di Pietro. CEO of Premier Fruits Group. Victory struggled to raise the initial $5 million equity capital to join the A-League in its first year and the FFA helped the club over the line by contributing franchise and set-up fees of about $500,000. The FFA took a 10% holding in the club in return, as well as having a representative on the Victory board. The shareholding was offered back to the club in 2007 and Jeff Lord and his partners a euro including Ron Peck. Richard Wilson and John Harris a Euro raised the money to buy the shares. In 2014, it was announced that major shareholder, real estate investor Harry Stamelis and fellow shareholder Robert Beltke, managing director of car parking company Care Park, along with some other minority shareholders, would offer their combined 35% stake in Melbourne Victory for sale to the general public, making part ownership of the club available to regular fans, a first for an A-League club. However, despite payments already having been collected from fans by the facilitator of the sale Deloitte, on 12 November it was announced that the entire allocation of shares were eventually purchased by a small number of long-term substantial shareholders. Sponsors, on December 5, 2005, South Korean electronics giant Samsung became the club's major sponsor in a two-year deal. This would ensure that Samsung would have their logo feature on the front and the back of Victory's home and away kits. Prior to the 2006 Euro 07 season, KFC were announced as Victory's sleeve sponsor, with their logo appearing on the sleeve of Victory's home and away kits. On January 28, 2009, Samsung announced that they would not be renewing their sponsorship for the 2009 Euro 10 A League season. Intralot became the Melbourne Victory's new major sponsor when they signed a two-season $2 million contract on May 4, 2009. Their logo subsequently featured on the front of Melbourne Victory's playing strip, starting from the 2009 Euro 10 season. On August 6, 2010, it was announced that law firm Florin Barala Lawyers would be Melbourne Victory's official short sponsor for the 2010 Euro 11 season. On June 1, 2011, it was announced that human resources company Adeco Group signed a three-year deal as the club's major sponsor, replacing Intralot. As part of the deal, Adeco's logo will appear on the front of the club's playing strip. Melbourne Victory announced on June 16, 2011 that they had signed a five-year deal with global sportswear giant Adidas as the club's official kit manufacturer. Personnel equals Board members equals Chairman, Anthony D. Petro Managing Director, Ian Robson, Director, Mario Bayasin, Director, Florin Barala, Director, John Harris, Director, John Doveston, Director, Richard Wilson, Source. Equals Current Technical Staff Equals. Director of Football. Managerial History. Club Captains. Affiliated Clubs, Tasmanian Victory League, Tianjintida. Honours. A League, Premierships a Euro record, 2006 a Euro 07, 2008 a Euro 09, 2014 a Euro 15, Runners Up, 2009 a Euro 10, A League Finals, Championships a Euro record, 2007, 2009, 2015, Runners Up, 2010, A League Pre Season Challenge Cup, Winners, 2008, FFA Cup, Winners a Euro record. 
2015. Records. Archie Thompson holds the team record for number of total games played with 174 matches. Thompson also holds the record for all-time highest goal scorer in all competitions with 74 goals. Melbourne Victory's record win came against Adelaide United 6 a Euro 0, on February 18, 2007, in the 2007 A-League Grand Final. Victory's record defeat was against rival Sydney FC, in a 0 a Euro 5 on January 26, 2014. Melbourne Victory's record FFA Cup win came against Balmain Tigers FC on 4 August 2015 with a score of 0 a Euro 6. The club's highest home attendance is 50,333 for a league Big Blue match on December 8, 2006, at Docklands Stadium. The club's highest home attendance for any match is 95,446 for pre-season friendly at the Melbourne Cricket Ground on July 24, 2013, against Liverpool. See also Melbourne Victory FCW League References External links Official website